What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you another simple trick in Photoshop. Now this one's a fairly new one to Photoshop. There is videos on it, but you know, some of them are a little bit, uh, you know, not great. So uh, I thought I'd bring you one today. So it's going to be a sky replacement tutorial. So, you know, if you're making a man manipulation, you know, you want to manipulate an image, you know, the bottom of it's perfect, but the sky is a little bit funny. You can use this technique basically to uh, change the sky. So <laughs> there's not really much more for me to say uh, than that. We'll uh, get straight into it in a minute. But I just wanted to say a massive thank you to all the recent Patreon members. You know, I will give you a shout out on the screen in a minute. Um, you know, you've been amazing and you've pledged a lot of money towards the Patreon fund, which is really, really amazing. So I'm going to be putting that back into the YouTube and obviously getting new equipment and all that type of thing. So, you know, we're doing it all for the benefit of the channel, really. So thank you so much for that, guys. Obviously, link is down below if you want to check that out. Uh, and there's a load of amazing assets that you can use. But without further ado, guys, let's get straight into the video. So guys, first things first, we've got an image of Fulham Football Club, Craven Cottage, their stadium. So this is something I used uh, recently in a in a um, design. So I basically took this image and used it as a background for the match day poster. Now, you know, I use this uh, this background because I thought the sky was quite nice. I obviously removed this little uh, plane which is flying across, but I got rid of that. Um, but this is a really nice image to work with. So I'm just going to show you how I would go about replacing this guy if I wanted to. So what would you want to do is you want to make this a converted to a smart object. Obviously just, you know, it's obviously going to be a background image. So just convert it to a smart object. Make sure you've got all that done so it saves what you do. Always convert it to a smart object. So once you've got that done, what we're going to need to do next is we're going to go to edit. I'm going to go down to where it says sky replacement. So it's pretty simple. Just edit sky replacement, click that, and then you'll be presented with this little menu here. So as you can see, it's already changed the sky for us. So now there's a few different, you know, um, things you can click around with here. So you can shift the edge, you can shift like where the blending is going to be, you know, how far you want it down. Um, but usually I keep this on about zero sort of just to begin with. So you can see where it's actually going to replace it to. Um, so and obviously you might not want a sunset sky. So let's go and have a look, see what skies they've got. They've got a range of different skies. So they've got all sorts of different ones. You can click that one. See, I mean, <laughs> I know that that, uh, you know, may not look at quite right. We could edit the bottom of the image, but that sky looks sick. And, and they've all they've done is added that in. And it, it really it does blend in with the image uh, quite well. So, uh, you know, some of them aren't going to look great. I mean, that one looks that one looks well cool. Oh, my God. I need to use this thing more often. <laughs> I, uh, to be fair, I never really use it. I can't lie. Um, I, I just, you know, I'm thinking of tutorials for you guys and stuff that you can use in your design. So I thought this one would be a good one, but this one looks sick. Like, see, that one looks pretty naff. I mean, it doesn't really make much sense. Uh, that one looks okay. That one looks okay. You know, if we want a cloudy background. Um, so this is going to be quite a short tutorial by the looks of it, guys. Uh, because obviously, this is working quite well. Um, I'm going to try it on another image as well. So I'm going to... Oh, I actually quite like that as well. I'm going to take this image. Let's select that one for now. And then let's just see what these do. So we've got this face edge tool, which sort of... If you zoom in... Let's just zoom in and have a look what it's doing here. So really, it's just sort of how dark you want the blend in at the bottom. So you can see if I go to zero, it's a lot darker. If I go up, it's a lot more faded in. So I would probably keep this around midway because it sort of blends the tones properly together. So you don't really need to worry about that too much. Um, brightness, obviously, you can play around with that depending on how bright your image is, really, I guess. So if we go out, uh, obviously, we've got a dark side on the right side of the image here. So let me just move this across a bit. We've got a dark side over here. So we kind of want a sort of a darky tone going into a light because the light's coming from the left. So maybe we can just play around the brightness. Obviously, you don't want it that bright. So maybe, you know, let's put it about 20. That's pretty good. You've got a nice light bit on the left. And then on the right, you got the sort of darker side with the shadows. Now, temperature, I guess you can sort of play around this. You want to make it more blue, obviously warmer. That's pretty simple. I'm going to make it a little bit more blue because I sort of like that coldy sort of tone. And then scale. This is something I guess you can just play around with. <laughs> Look at that. That looks terrible. So that's the sky they've used, obviously. Uh, so let's make that probably like 100. That's probably a good size, I would say. Maybe, maybe a little bit more. Um, but yeah, just sort of play around with that, guys. And obviously, you know, play around with it, see what works best. You can flip it. Obviously, there's a lot of things you can do. 
Uh, foreground objects. I don't know what this really does. Okay, it just made, it just changes the uh, lightness of the front bit. Um, and then edge lighting. This makes the edge of the the the, uh, the ridge of the sky and the stadium obviously changes the contrast between that. As you can see, and again I'll zoom in for you guys. Let's just do it quickly now. So this is quite a fun little tool. Just pull it up to 100. Makes it darker. Makes it lighter. That's a really nice technique that is. So color adjustment again. I guess this means you can sort of just. This is where you can manipulate the stadium so it looks the same as the sky. Obviously, we had a blue sky, so everything's sort of blue tones. But now we've got this sort of pinky red sky. You might want to sort of adjust the color so it just sort of blends with the sky a little bit more. It probably takes it takes the colors from the sky and blends it with the uh, bottom image just so it actually all fits in better together. So then again, we've done that now. Uh, wow, well, it's set to multiply or screen. So multiply looks good. You know, keeps the shadows intact, keeps the uh, highlights intact, and it looks really nice. So again here, we've got a brush. I don't really know what the brush is going to do. To be honest, I'm just going to leave that. Hand tool if you want to move around. I just think this is... Oh, there you go. You don't want to move that around. Um, I just think, right? Seen as, you know, you might have... I've had this loads of times. When you find an image, you're like, this is brilliant. Like, the stadium looks brilliant. This is the image I want. And then the sky just doesn't look quite right. So this should sort of give you that opportunity to sort of change that and make it sort of a better manipulated image really without having to go through and look for new images so if i click ok now we've got all of it here so let's turn this on and off okay i think that's really nice obviously you know the light's coming from here on this image so realistic we realistically we could flip this and make it you know the other way around but if we want to just sort of manipulate it a little bit and make it look a little bit more cooler or you know different i think this works really well so that's it for that one guys i'm going to do one more image just to sort of check out and make sure that it does work on most images now here we got a nice really light blue sky on the west ham um uh, stadium so i'm just going to go edit and then go down to select sky replacement again guys so just click that and then we're going to be hit with this okay so that really doesn't look right does it so to begin with we had a nice blue sky so i'm just going to go back to that and see how that looks so this doesn't look too great but what I want, instead of just such a really clear blue sky, I want some more clouds in there. Some, dy you know, just something a bit more dynamic to make it look a bit cooler. So that right there looks really nice. So we started off with something which didn't have much sky. So let's just go preview, turn that off. Okay, so we had something like that. And now we've added some clouds in it. Again, it just adds something a little bit extra to your image instead of just something really flat. Because the stadium image is really nice. So obviously you can play around with these and go through them. You know, that one just looks totally fake, um, so I wouldn't do that one. You sort of want to make sure that you get the angle of the sky, obviously, because we're looking quite back at it and looking up. You know, you want to sort of get that uh, that contrast as well. So maybe clouds like this, that one looks okay. A little bit dark, maybe. So if we click OK on this, let's go to the brightness layer here, make it a little bit brighter. That looks nice. It sort of blends in with the image now. And also, we can make it a little bit more blue, like that. There you go. So you can just play around with your temperature and obviously everything, guys. Uh, increase the scale if you want to. Don't really need to, but you can. Let's go to boost the brightness up again. Okay, so that works really nice. So turn the preview on and off. Okay, so now we've got just something a little bit more interesting. And when you add this to your background, obviously, you know, you're going to have your colors, your textures and all that type of thing, different thing going on. Um, but, you know, these clouds can add extra texture elements to the design when you like overlay it over images and sort of stuff like that. So this is a really nice technique. So I'm just going to sort of play around with the foreground lighting, maybe make this a little bit darker because it's obviously inside the stadium. And then the edge lighting, probably going to sort of boost that up. Color adjustment again. You can sort of play around with this. I don't think it's going to have too much of an effect because we've selected a blue sky, which was already there anyway. So that works really nicely. So I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to just go like that, turn that one on and off. I think that one looks really cool. That, that one's worked really well. I'm going to do one more because I'm just enjoying this so much. Um, you can obviously speed through this if you don't want to watch it. But where am I going? I'm going to go to select. Uh, where's my sky replacement gone? It's because I'm not selected on the right layer. <laughs> That's why. So it's sky replacement. And then let's just go and see if we can find a really cool looking one. Okay, that one. Oh, yeah. You know, it would help, right, if I actually turn this one off so I could actually see the sky. But, you know, don't worry. I'm just so excited. I want to get to it. So let's see what this one looks like. Like, look at that. That looks so sick. That's really cool. So we could shift the edge as well here so we can see how far it blends in. 
Um, obviously you don't want it blending over the stadium. Brighten this up a little bit and make it a little bit more blue. Scale as well, you can scale it up. But again, can you imagine like if you're making a match day poster and you want this type of tone, mate, you can you can make such a, a such a nice looking sort of design. Let's have a look. So now obviously this bit down here doesn't blend with the skies. So let's sort of see if the color adjustment, see there you go. The color adjustment has already made that look a little bit more in tone with the uh, sky, which is really nice. I really like that. Let's play around the edge lighting a little bit, make it sort of like that bit darker on the inside that looks so cool guys this tech this tool is going to revolutionize your manipulation edits and stuff like that but i know some of you may already know this tool i know it's fairly new to photoshop i've never used it this is obviously my first time but i think it's a really nice technique for you guys to learn and something a little bit different um but yeah guys i'm gonna sort of wrap it up here because i'm just gonna go and have some fun with this myself off video uh but i think this has worked really well so obviously we've changed that one it's made the stadium really dark and grungy obviously a really moody sky and then we've got a nice blue sky there you go same sort of feel again with the uh, original but with clouds just to add a little bit more dynamic stuff to it uh, and then we had the Craven Cottage one, which was the first one, which worked, I think, worked really nicely. You know, it's a different sky, flat. Again, it, depending on the colors you're going to use in your designs, you can use this to look, you know, a little bit different. So, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you have enjoyed that tutorial. You know, obviously hit the like button if you have enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see more of. And, you know, any tutorials that you're struggling with, let me know and I'll make one on it for you. Uh, but without further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you next time.